So there's meanings to this. Hawaz, we are at, where are we at? Hutia. We're here. We did these. We did these. Now we are here. So we're almost going to be through with the alphabet just as basic letters. Then we'll get to go to Sa'al Tumuniha, right? Where we get over here and we get to learn the letters with meanings, and then we get to go to Min, Ila, Wa'an, Wafi, Warubba, Waba, Wa'ala, Wakaf, Walam, Wawun, Wata, Wamud, Wamundu, Wala'ala, Hatta. And then we'll be finished with just the harf, right? We'll be scholars then of the harf. And that's only one section from the 13 sciences through which we have to study. So we know it's going to take us some what? Some time. Real easy. Now, in this right here, where we at? May I have a paper, please? What letter are we on today? Pa. Pa. Pa is very easy. This is a marching song here. It says, do I have to put it on the board? No, we all have copy. Everybody has copy? OK. So it goes, should I put it on the board? No. Now I have to ask the producer. Should I, I put it on the board for just to... It's gonna be I like I never saw it either. You have to talk to, you have to talk to, you know, you, know, you talk to these two guys over here, you know. At the roots of two top teeth. Come on, guys. At the roots of two top teeth. Say, at the, it's, 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 it's a, a Marine Corps song. At the roots of two top teeth. At the roots of two top teeth. When the tip and top tongue meet. When the tip and top tongue meet. The letter thought is getting warm. The ninth huruf in our form. The ninth huruf in our form. With shidda jahru nisti'la. The letter thought has qalqala. The And then with something close it back. And when we sight and bring ikhfa, sound off. No, it's one, two. <laughs> sound off. One, two. Bring it on down. Three, four. <laughs> Put it all together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But well, you don't have to do that part, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Now listen to what we say. At the roots of two top teeth. What's the roots of the two top teeth? Gums. The, 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 the gums of the two buck teeth, okay? At the roots of two top teeth. Pay attention. When the tip, when the tip. And, top and top tongue meet. Okay, now, let me show it to you. Here are the t here's the roots of the two top teeth, but it's on the inside, okay? At the inside. Different from it. Everybody say it. That's lower. It's going to hit where the teeth are the cutting. Yes. Okay? So everybody say, when the tip, here goes the tip of the tongue, the and the top of the tongue. So this is the tongue again. Okay? This is the tip. Okay? And this is the top part. So what happens is, as the tongue touches, it bends a little bit. Okay? You understand? And that presses with the roots of the two top teeth. This is the roots right here. You follow me? My, my, my artwork isn't that great. I, mean, I wasn't a graffiti. I'm from Brooklyn. Most of the graffiti guys were from the Bronx. So we broke dance. But anyway, the, the, the tip of the tongue and the top and the roots of the teeth say, if thought. See, now I, I did some more. That's why he said, when the tip and top tongue meet, the letter thaw, it starts to form. It starts to form, right? Could you erase this right here, young man? No, it's getting warm. I'm sorry. The letter thaw is getting warm. The letter thaw is getting warm. Why is it getting warm? Thank you. Because it's starting to be pronounced. The letter thaw. Oh, man. Okay. Is getting warm, meaning it's getting close to where it's supposed to be. That the sound is getting ready to come. Like you say, you used to play hide and go seek. You're getting warmer, you're getting hot, you're getting cold. You're getting close to pronouncing it properly. Everybody go, Watch how I do my mouth. Say, Ip-tho. 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 Ip
You two guys over there too, Eunice. Ipto. That's why you know sometimes children won't be able to print out certain letters because they don't have all their teeth. Okay? Teeth are a necessary part for pronouncing tajweed. That's right. When you get old and you start losing your teeth, your pronunciation of the Qur'an gets weaker. It's just a fact of nature, okay? But nowadays, you know, you can be 100 years old and have all your choppers because of modern science. And in modern science, they can give you a whole gorilla teeth, right? So, the ninth huruf, the ninth huruf, what does huruf mean? Letter. The ninth letter in our form. What form are we talking about? We're not, we're not talking about the alphabet, we're talking about the abjadiyya. Because the alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or Alif, and Ba, and Ta, and Tha, and Jim, and Ha, and Kha. That order is called alphabet. Where abjadiyya is abjad, hawaz, huttiya, kaliman, sa'fas, khurishat, thaqif, dhadik. You see the difference? So in this form, in this form, in our form, the Islamic form of abjadiyya, it's the ninth harf. Okay, does that make sense? In our form, with shidda, then it goes on to say with shidda, this is important, what is shidda? Strength. Strength. Jaharun. Isti'la. Maybe you didn't get isti'la before. Isti'la is to be high. A'la. Isti'la. You're seeking to put it up. Okay? So now, jaharun and shidda, you're familiar with. Jaharun is audibility. Shidda is strength. You say the letters loud and strong. Now, isti'la. Usually you see istifal. What is istifal? What? I can't hear you. What is flat? You keep your tongue flat. Isti'la and istifal are opposites. Okay? So you got isti'la. What is isti'la now? Up. Say ipma. Now your tongue goes what? It goes up. And it's the ipma. You see it goes up there right there? Now... The letter ta, the letter ta has qalqala. You're familiar with qalqala, right? That's that beating sound, that resounding sound. Don't you hear it? You hear it? It's, it's going twice. You press it hard and then you release it. You pull it away from your teeth just as much as you push it to your teeth. Say it. And if you don't say it loud, you cannot hear it. If you don't pull it away from your teeth, you won't hear it. It won't have that qalqala. Say, ifta. Ifta. You hear that? Ifta. Ifta. Hinta. Hinta. You hear that thaw sound? So it should be the tip of your tongue and the top of your tongue should meet at the the roots of your two buck teeth. Now you know exactly where to make that sound. And that's important in pronouncing the letters that you know exactly where to pronounce it. Isn't that right? And then with Sultun. And then with Sultun. What is Sultun? It's restraint, right? It's holding it. You're not just going, Ilta. Ilta. You see how you're restraining, you're controlling it the whole time. Your mouth is, is, is being firmly opened and closed, right? Say, if law. And you wound up with your mouth being like this, round mouth. I said there's two ways you can open the mouth. One is called infitah or infitah or fat, okay? Right? And the other one is called it back. Its back is the round, oblong way, and infitah is the way that's open like a what? Door. Say bear. bear. You see your mouth goes open? Bear. bear. Say tear. tear. La. La. Ha. Ha. You see your mouth goes up and down. Now say saw. saw. Ball. 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 You see your mouth goes round and oblong. There's a difference. Its back is in thought. Say it thought. Your jaw should be strained. Ifta. You're not saying it, Sheikh. Ifta. 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 
Your mouth should be round. No lazy tongues in Arabic. There's no lazy jaws. You can't be, you can't say, yeah, all right. You can do that in English. In Arabic, you have to work your jaw. وَلَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ تَرْكِهِ إِلَّا رِيَادَةَ مْرِئِمْ بِفَكِّهِ There's nothing, the poet, he said, there's nothing from doing it and not doing it except the man practicing with his jaw. Oh. 